Good old Manalika. What would I do without you? You're the best lead dog ever born. Yeah, my little Manalika, I wouldn't part with you for all the money in the world. <laughs> You're a real sweetheart, yes, sure are. <laughs> Good girl. Okay to leave my dogs here till tomorrow? Oh, sure thing, Bill. How's it going, Nick? Yeah, how are the golden days of Alaska over, Bill? <sighs> if I didn't have my work to finish and my adopted daughter. She say anything to you again? Uh, well, as a matter of fact, uh, she did. She's getting out of hand. She dreams about finding some place where every day the sun shines. First man who believes she knows where to find gold, she'll leave with it. He'll just promise to take her there. Where are you going? Oh, not far. Happy camp. Halfway to hell and back, and you still call it happy here? It's kind of morbid, isn't it? Another whiskey. Come on, hurry up there, boy. Didn't you hear him? What a windfall. I'm empty, too, as you can readily see, sir. Well, I'm not buying. No, I'll be damned if I let any of my customers buy Sam, you a drink. you must let everybody at least have a chance to be charitable. Get out! Oh. Where's the post office? Oh, I'll take care of it. Jimmy, come here. Run over to Murdoch's with this. Quit hitting the boy all the time. He does his job. Little bastard's not worth a nickel. Is the boy yours, miss? No. Why all the concern, then? He's an orphan. His father brought him here hoping to find a mine and then up and died on the boy. Hey, Bill. Bill Robbins. Bill! Bill! Hurrah! Hiya, partner. <laughs> you staying long? No, I have to go back today. Hi, Bill. Hiya, Stumpy. You had good hunting? Yeah, it was all right. And how's the barber business? Everybody grows beards here. But it doesn't matter. I'm going to hang myself. <laughs> have a drink on me first. I tell you that Bill Robbins in town. Well, what do you know? Say what you want, but he's the only one who'll amount to anything. <laughs> 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 I'll pull out with the best husky team ever seen in Alaska. Want a team, huh? You going away, Mike? Yeah, I'm going into the mountains. Look, you're not a trapper, so stay put. And if it's gold you've got in your mind, forget it. Gold ran out years ago. Is that right? Best huskies in this region are owned by Bill Robin. Yeah, I've been told about his dogs. Well, if you're thinking about getting his dogs, don't bother. He wouldn't sell them even if it meant his life. Money can buy anything. It can't buy Bill Robbins. No, oh, I'm getting sick of hearing about your famous Bill Robbins. You don't have to listen to me. I want a double whiskey. No cash, no drink. Oh, come on, enjoy it. Oh, I drink first, then the cash. When? Well, after Bill comes. I'm his guest, Sam. Bill Robbins? You don't know any other Bill who'd buy me a drink, do you? Hey, where can I find this Bill? Bill? He's talking to Murdoch, probably getting his supplies. Think I'll go and have a talk with Mr. Robbins. How'd you come by this? I just happened to have found it, that's all. You really must excuse me, Mike. The kid forgot to go and mail the letter to your sister. Idiot. Someday I'm going to kill that boy. Ah, forget it. I'll mail it. I'm going to Murdoch's right, right now. Sorry, Mike. Where's my double whiskey? They're nice pals. 
Hey, sure are, Bill. Pretty fancy shooting. Look, he got him with one shot. Any fear full of holes is considered a bad pelt. Come on, let's settle up, Bill. Uh, I think we'll do that later. I gotta get back to the shack today. Put these things together for me, will you, Murdoch? Sure, Bill. Jimmy? Come here. What do you have? Some candy. Murdoch doesn't care when I take him. Well, maybe he doesn't, but I do. And if you want to remain partners with me and stay friends, you're going to have to quit this business. Okay? Yeah, Bill. Hey, Murdoch, hurry up. What's the hurry? Man's got a letter to mail. Then there's no rush. The next mail doesn't go out till tomorrow. I'll keep the letter for you. That'll be eight cents. For a letter? That's the local rate. Brat. I thought I told you to go and mail that letter. I forgot, sir. <laughs> Good-looking dog there. You won't find a better husky in Alaska. Interesting. Is she for sale? You'd better ask Mr. Robin over there. Is she for sale? I'm talking to you, mister. Tell me how much you want. I'll put cash on the line. Well, set a price, will you? I'm sure we can come to an agreement. I'll buy this hound and all your team that goes with her. Hey, you. Are you deaf? I'm talking to you. Hey, Bill, they won't serve me nothing. I'm coming. Let's get something straight, sonny boy. We've got no business together, and my dog team is not for sale. You better keep that holstered. I'm his boss. And I'm his friend. What a pretty combination. A thief's son mixed up with a killer. Say that again. I'm sorry. You were freed of all charges by the court. Case of legitimate self-defense. Forget it, Sam. I didn't mean it. Hey, partner, you know, men don't always mean everything they say. Why don't you go over to Murdoch's and uh, tell him to get all my gear together, okay? Yeah. No, listen, Bill, I'm really awfully sorry. Well, that's enough. Did you hear that? Sure did. Say what you want to about me, Sam, but you leave that boy alone. If anything ever happens to him, even God can't help you. Everything's going fine, Bill? Hey, old buddy, it's time you were getting back. Take me with you, Bill. I want to go. You've got a job down there. Any guy who doesn't do his job can't make much of a man. Well, when are you coming back? In the spring, when it thaws. Judging from what I see now, that won't be too long. Well, then, best of luck. Hey, Jim. Still eat candy? Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. See ya. Here we go, huh? What's the matter, girl? What's that supposed to mean? 
Just that I'll have your dog team one way or another. Not one false move, here. Yeah? You'll be sorry if you do. Nothing will happen to you. But I'll kill the dog if you don't do what I tell you. Manalika, it looks like this fellow's got the upper hand. I guess maybe we better do what he says. That's very wise of you. I've heard dead dogs can't pull sleds. And now then, if you'll just step back. And don't try anything, Robin. The first bullet's for the dog, but the second could be for you. I don't think this will bring you any luck. Okay, pal, it looks like you've got a new boss. I'll be seeing you. Acaína. 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 You came and you told me. Acaína, you promised too. Yes, my treasure. Acaína, follow you always. To California, where fine big sunshine, yes? Yes, yes, you're right. But first, you must show me exactly where you found the gold. After that, I promise I'll take you along. Mm -hmm. You love me, don't you? Well... Okay, and I love Mike. Okay, come on, show me the valley where the gold is. Go on. Where's this valley you told me about? Got some mountains. Yeah, but which mountains? Is it them? Or them? Or those? Far away. <laughs> Look, if you haven't leveled with me and there's no gold, Akaina, you'll regret it. Now you tell me and fast. The valley's across what mountains? I don't remember. <laughs> Your valley of gold. You tell me or else. One. <laughs> two. Tornado Kid's coming here. The Tornado Kid? Yeah, one of my closest friends. I'll liven up the joint. Sorry, Tornado Kid. You're too late this time to get our gold. Everything was put safely away at the Trader's Company. Where's the owner? He went to Green Springs, kid. Supposed to come in soon, though. Green Springs is pretty far. Come on, boys. Your gang won't find much here. We'll find everything we need. Why not just leave, kid? You know, you're funny. I was just going to tell you the same thing. <laughs> Let's go. I... I'll take care of this right now. Get rid of that guy. 
You have any idea where the cash is? There, the big closet. Good place to hide a safe. Don't worry, we'll open it. Not that way you won't, it's too strong. I've got what it takes right here. You're not gonna open it that way. You're carrying the key on you, I suppose. Have it soon. Murdoch's bringing back the key personally. Be patient, we haven't anywhere to go. <laughs> <laughs> Mike Williams. He's dead. This is Bill Robbins' team. Bill Robbins, a murderer. Never saw a clear case of killing. Bill wouldn't kill anyone. You're lying. Bill wouldn't kill anyone. No, 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 you're lying. Bill Robbins? Mm hmm. Come with me. Bill Robbins, the man who killed your buddy a few years ago. He's the one who shot Dan. I'll go after him, then. He's as good as dead. There's no sense looking for him. Bill Robbins isn't in town. Where is he? He lives up in the mountains. You'd never find the cabin. No, I'm going after the coward, Sam. No man lives that kills my friends. I understand, kid, but just sit tight. Bill sells furs over at the local store, and he'll be needing supplies again soon. Why go out after the man when he'll have to show up here where you're waiting nice and warm? But don't tell anyone, or somebody might try to warn him. You better start counting your days, Mr. Bill Robin. Manolika. <laughs> Manolika. That a girl. You got away, didn't you? you? Left the guy, huh? Where'd you leave the others, huh? Manolika. <laughs> Been a barber long, Stumpy? Nope. Mealy asked me to help him every now and then, kid. Why is that? He's afraid of cutting the guy he's scared of. Uh, you're not scared? Not me, no siree. See, I plan on hanging myself. You ever shave anyone, Stumpy? Not yet. Hey! <laughs> Kid, Murdoch's coming. He just left the forest. Okay, make sure none of the townspeople tell him we're here. It's as good as done, Kid. Where are you going? This afternoon, they're burying the guy I found on Bill's sled, Mike something or other, and they offered me some drinks in the house if I dig the grave. And look, Stumpy, dig two of them while you're at it. Murdoch will be needing one. We're only three hours away now. I can hardly wait until I see Mike. After such a long while without seeing you, I'm sure Mike will be just as pleased as you are. Your brother's missed you. Say, Mr. Murdoch, the man down there behind the trees. Who is he? He's been riding behind us since we left Green Springs. I don't know. Shall we go? Okay. Hello, Angel. You speaking to me? No one but you. I'm very lucky ever so often. When I need a guardian angel, one always appears. I was needing one right now. You see? <laughs> there you are. <laughs> You're an impertinent liar. Sometimes, yes. Only not right now. You're really annoying me. Uh, so long, Angel. <laughs> Mr. Murdoch, let's go.
That's Murdoch, all right. Get ready. Hold it right there. Drop your gun! Ah! Get your hands up nice and high. <laughs> Everything's out of control Didn't now. have to shoot him, Joe. You're always trigger happy. Look what you did. Oh, I beg your pardon, sir. I must have lost my hand. <laughs> there must be a little something to drink this drink. I'll check. <laughs> you find anything? There's not only lots of booze back here, there's a little filly guarding it. Give me a No, no, get away from it. Damn it. from Montana. Came a month ago. His name's Williams. Williams? That's right. Mike Williams? Yeah. No. No, you're mistaken. That was his name, miss. Oh. You've got to open the coffin. Show me who's inside you here. I've got to see that it isn't Mike. We don't disturb the dead here, so you just go along now, miss. I've got a right to see. I know it isn't Mike. Just go along now. But Mike Williams is my brother. Gentlemen, the desires of a woman should be respected. The tornado kid and his bunch have busted into your place. Come to rob us of the gold. You better turn back while there's still time. I'm staying here. to see you. There's something you can do for us, friend. We've been waiting. The key, please, and hurry up. No. I said the key. But the money in there isn't mine. You think I care? It was entrusted to me, and I intend to keep it safely locked up. Obviously, persuasion's needed. He just doesn't understand a thing. Is this the key? Yeah. Why don't you give it to me right away? Boys, till Bill Robin comes here. Just have to leave the stuff there. Joe! Ready! Forrester is going to run the store. Now that clears up here around here. Well, what are your plans now? Seems Bill Robin won't be back for four or five weeks. No reason for all the boys to hold up here, right? So you, Joe, and Ty stay here. I'm heading for Katarga with the other boys, okay? After a while, we'll be coming back. The rest of you guys can pull out. Right now, it's time for a whiskey. <laughs> 
My heartfelt condolences, Miss Williams. I was a friend of your brother's. He gave me his last letter to you, and I mailed it personally. Miss Williams needs a room, not more condolences. Oh, sure thing. Yes, come with me, please. See you, Angel. <laughs> what do you look like? Tall, red beard, and wearing a leather coat. All of a sudden, you opened fire. It came out of nowhere. One man took on it for you? I've never seen anybody shoot like that, never. That guy's got to be an expert. He's just damn lucky. That's You're the lucky one. He could have pumped your rear full of holes. Well, one of these days, he'll be staring into the barrel of my gun. Staring into whose barrel? Just stay calm. What do you want here? A good game, mister. I mean, if the tornado kid plays. I have a strong feeling you're the one who gave the boys a little scare today. If those boys are yours, kid, then you need a real man. Like Jack Harper, for instance. Heard the name mentioned once or twice? What proves to me you're Jack Harper, mister? That <laughs> Good. <laughs> That's pretty good. But they say Jack Harper can do things that nobody else can do. Do they? responsible for his death. Bill Robin. Oh, he threw him for you right away. Why are you so sure he did it? It's obvious. Bill's a killer. Well, if that's the truth, then I demand that he be hanged. Yeah. Only Bill Robin's a hard man to find. Why is that? He lives up in the mountains on a big plain that's about half the size of Mexico. Uh-huh. Then I'll set a price. What about $2,000 to the first man to find this bill? Mm, that's a lot, but no one's going to take it. That say anything to you? The cash, yes. Ice cold feet? No. Searching out a needle in the middle of a snowfield? That's hardly the job for a southern gentleman. Get out of my sight. Angel? any of his men behind, then he's thinking of, of coming back later, that's for sure. You had to go and wake me up just to tell me a piece of bad news like that. Mr. Stumpy, Bill Robin's in danger. Bill? Ha, Bill's not in any danger. They're going to kill him. I heard them making all their plans, but they're waiting until Bill drives his team in, so we've got to warn him not to come to town. What? Us? Into the mountains? At night? It's best to hang me right now. We must tell Bill, Mr. Stumpy. No, we haven't a chance. We've got to get a couple horses and that go. That bunch will kill us for sure. And I'm going to be hung by myself. Then I'll warn Bill all by myself. We're talking foolish. Jimmy. Jimmy!
<laughs> We're both that rifle down, boy. Might as well give up. We see you. We'll give you lessons in proper horse stealing. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got guts, all right, but you got to get off on the right foot. Yeah. <laughs> 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 he told me he was going to do it, but I really didn't think he'd try it. Why did he do it, Stumpy? He wanted to warn Bill of the danger. We got it! <laughs> the law says horse thieves have to get hung immediately. I'm all for it. Hang him just like his father. Have you all gone crazy? He's just a child. No excuse. Thieves at the theater room. Yeah. Up, up. Come here. You wouldn't Go dare up. say that if Bill Robin was here. You old holy Bill. Now, come here. You shouldn't be so sure of yourself. If something happens to that boy, you've had it, Sam Jenkins. Ah, come to a decision, will you? What do you want to do with the brat? <laughs> well, nobody's hanging this child. Well, I say we do. Good God, cut out the plastic. Stumpy, go and get us a rope. Hop. Hold it. If you find no solution among you, leave it to the local law here. To the tornado kid. Yeah, that's a good idea. He'll be back soon. Let the kid decide. And up till then? Lock the boy up, that's all. No! Well, they caught him stealing. The tornado kid will decide. I'm all for that. We hang him tonight or next week. What's the difference? No! no won't let you no, touch the go, help. The boy was born to be a thief. It runs in the family. Oh, Jim, yeah. leave him alone! What were you saying about warning Bill Robin of danger? From whom and from what? Huh. You must have misunderstood, mister. Anyway, I'm going to hang myself. Hello, Angel. Leave me alone, will you? I have something to discuss with you. I can't see you. I can't see anybody right now. No? But I want my Angel's blessing again for luck. Will you kindly spare me your stupid remarks? And I also want $3,000. You'll go after this, this Bill Robin and bring him back? I'm a gambler. And I'd really be an idiot to turn down $3,000. 2000 Three. No more, not a penny less. I think that you're a beast, Jack. <laughs> yes. You could say that. <clears throat> or do you believe Santa Claus will put Robin in your Christmas stocking for you? And you found a way to do it? Mm -mm. Uh, that's my worry, Angel. That problem is all mine. Yours is the cash. All right. Two thousand. Come on, Angel. You heard me. I said three. You'll get the rest after you've brought Bill Robin in. All right. One Bill, dead or alive. <laughs> Bye now, Angel.
Go on, Manalika. That's it. Find him, girl. Find him. Go on. I don't know what you're doing here, but one thing's for sure, you're a greenhorn in Alaska. Thanks for the assistance. Quite all right. Uh, who are you? My name's Bill Robin. Bill Robin? I know you, Robin. Well, I'm Jack Harper. I'm from. I know where you're from. Pretty fancy gun you got here. Well weighted. Seen a lot of use. <laughs> a man's best friend. Where'd you get this pendant? A little girl. From Betty. In happy camp, right? That's right. So you'd believe me? Believe what? Uh, you gotta go to happy camp with me. Your friend Jimmy's gonna be hung. Some people caught him stealing. They wanna hang a child? The law doesn't hang children. The only law in happy camp is Tornado Kid. Jimmy took off with uh, one of his men's saddle horses. Uh, but Betty talked the gang into simply locking the boy up. That's fine for a while. Only they won't wait too long. You'd better hurry, Mr. Robert.
Seem to be following our tracks. They plan on attacking us? Yes, I think so. That's a lovely thought. Starving wolves will attack anything that moves. While there's still daylight, maybe we can find cover further on. Let's go. All right. Watch it. The wind's blowing him out. Uh, this is my last one. Say a prayer. You don't have the time to reload. Thanks. How long we have to wait? All night? They're coming. Get up, Harper. You're not shooting a man, they're wolves. The only chance you got with a wolf is to stay on your feet. dogs haven't got a chance. They've just traded their lives for ours. Think you're worth it, Harper?
filthy animals have wiped out everything. All that's left of your flints is little bits, Bill. Man, it's hell when you can't build a fire. I've used up all my matches. The most important thing is I've lost my dogs. Transportation could cost Jimmy's life. Take the blankets. We'll go to Suquana Valley. There's a river there. Try to make up a raft. Come on. stupid wolves chewed my leg a bit. Guess walking softened it up. It's just a scratch. Why didn't you say something? Now, you'd better listen to me, Harper. You'll come down with blood poisoning if we don't clean the wound. We'll burn it. You said burn it? Yeah. Clever man's planning to build a fire? I'll build a fire out of ice. Fire out of ice? You're crazy. Maybe. Go bring me some dry twigs and bark. Stop treating me like I was a baby. Why don't you shut up and just do what I told you? It's your leg. OK, OK. Take the smaller ones and put them in a pile there, and some moss on top. your late brother to send for you to come to this godforsaken place in Alaska. Well, you see, when we were very young, our parents were killed in an accident, and Mike depended on me after that. He was so helpless. He clung to me. And even here, he couldn't forget about me in Montana. He begged me to join him in every letter he wrote. His last letter was forwarded by the San Francisco Post Office. Mike wrote me all about having met some girl here who said she knew where to find a gold load. A gold load here in this region? He even sent me a very detailed map. Oh, I'm so sorry. Excuse me, we'll talk a bit later. I'll take it out of your month's wages, Betty. Hmm. Now then, I got a question too. What are you waiting around here for now? For one Bill Robin. I also am waiting for Bill Robin. The whole town's waiting for Bill Robin. Yes. Because he'll have to pay for my brother's murder. No, he'll have to get little Jimmy out of jail before the tornado kid comes back. No one else here can do it. And if he tries, nothing can stop him, not even your silly lies. Bill Robin is a murderer. No, he isn't. Bill Robin has killed once in his life a man down in Texas who pulled the gun on him first. Even the judge said Bill was innocent. And my brother. Explain his death, then. It was Bill Robin's huskies and snow sled. 
If you think any man is fool enough to kill your brother and then go and pack the corpse into town so everybody can see it, then you should think twice, lady. A real killer would dig a grave in the wilds and put the body under five feet of nothing. Betty, I'd never thought of that. The only here, this Sam Jenkins, seemed absolutely sure that it was Bill. Sam is a man who'd sell his mother if it meant an extra buck. I mustn't trust him, then. Did your brother really find the gold out here? Well, my brother wrote me that some girl told him all about <gasps> gold it. Gold in this region could cause trouble. Did you keep the last letter Mike wrote? It's up in my room. And the map, too? Mike sent me this funny sketch of all the ways to Happy Camp. Sam, what are you doing? I'm just fixing the fire. I always like my guests to be nice and comfortable, miss. For a minute or two. What's the matter? Your leg hurt you? Oh, the pain stopped. Not much further now to Happy Camp. We've got time to rest for a second. <sighs> oh, wait a minute. You told me Jimmy's life was in danger, right? Right. You told me I had to get to Happy Camp before the tornado kid, right? That's right. is a surprise. What are you doing out here? You know little Jimmy, the kid that works at the bar at Happy Camp, don't you? Oh, yeah. Tom Clark's son. Yeah. Well, the kid's in trouble, and I got to get there as fast as I can. How come you took this way, Bill? Well, that's a long story, Uriah. Wolf's got my dogs. I got to go from here by raft. Unless, of course, I can convince you to sell me back my horse. Haven't paid you yet. Still yours. Can't buy what belongs to you. Then it's a deal. Yeah. Anything else I can do for you? Nope. Just the horse. Oh, but you might slow down the guy that's behind me. I don't trust him. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> hey, partner! Hold on, son. Here, drink some coffee and calm down a bit. Thanks. What do you want for the horse? He's not up for sale, son. That doesn't matter. Hey, uh, could you spare me some bullets? I'm fresh out of lead. Well, I got a few extra. How many you want? One bullet will do. Just one? <laughs> Get the others for nothing like that. Go drink some of your coffee, Pop. Go on. Hurry up. Make it quick. Has it gone? <laughs> Have a little hot coffee. You'll pardon me, sir. I really got to go. Oh, kid! 
and it's good you got back. Lots of things going on. Right here at Happy Camp. You mean Bill Robbins come to town? No, Jack Harper went to get him. And Jimmy's been locked up, kid. Jimmy? A little punk in the bar. Caught him stealing my horse a few days ago. All that can wait. I got really important news for you. Come on in. Women, get out of the way there. Kid, I found the reason Bill Robin killed Mike Williams the other day. Why? Mike Williams was told where the Topeka gold is, that's why. Who said that? Mike did in a letter to his sister. Is that the little blonde girl? Yeah, that's her. I saw a map that was made where the gold's located, kid, but I didn't have time to copy it. Also, Mike mentioned a Topeka girl in the letter. Who oh, Topeka in these parts, Sam? All. Oh, Akaina. She stayed here with Nicholas when the others left. Uh-huh. Bill's a good friend of Nicholas. Ah, we'll have to find Bill Robbins since he's slow coming in. And that job is Jack Harper's. For $3,000 of, um, her dough? I'll have to have a talk with the lady. Harper will find Robin. If you touch one hair of that child's head, you'll pay plenty for it. Oh, oh, no. You better not! Make it easy on yourself and tell me every word that was in that letter from your brother. You've no right to ask me. Miss, I got a right to everything. Letters are very private. And the map showing the Topeka gold? A simple sketch of the different roads from San Francisco to Happy Camp. No more. You wouldn't go and burn a simple sketch. <laughs> you really shouldn't have burnt it. It was information Mike thought was valuable. You've got to be pretty stupid to do a thing like that. But not so dumb as to destroy it without making sure of one small detail. To put it all in your head. And we're going to get it out. Piece by piece. You keep her here for a while until I get back, Sam. I've got things to do. Guess we have no choice. We'll have to use a little persuasion. Stop! There's someone we better not forget about. There's an Indian girl who lives near here named Akaina. Joe, you got the dynamite? I brought it. Ty, you and a couple of the boys go get the Indian girl and bring her here with you to South Corner. Joe Caddy and I will be waiting for you there with Mike Williams' sister. What about me, kid? You've just been appointed reception committee for Bill Robin. If he shows up, you boys got a free hand. Only leave him enough breath so that just before I fill him with lead, he finds out what he's going to get for killing Dan. Okay. Hey, thief, you must be scared. Haven't got too long to live, you know. Yeah, we're finally going to string you up. <laughs> Time's running out for you fast. It won't be long before Bill gets to town. And we're waiting for the guy. What do you want? I'm poor. I've got nothing. Maybe you think so. The boys and me have been told you got a mighty interesting Indian girl. You know, she knows something kind of special. And we wanted to learn more. You mean the Topuka gold? You think fast, old man. That gold is imaginary. It never existed. Every time any fool says he'll take her to some land where the sun shines all the time, she begins to talk about the Topuka gold. It doesn't exist. Gold is not imaginary. Oh. You mean take me to land of brilliant sun? Sure we will. We're heading that way. You come with us. Nakaina! We gotta stop at South Corner and then we're heading for the sun. You hear that? The sun. Jimmy, come on, tell me. No, nothing. The boy, the boy stole a horse. Where is he? Over at, at, at Murdoch's.
Hi, Sam. Come, Bill. A man called Kid is planning to kill you for shooting his best friend down in Texas. You better get away before they all come back. Where are they now? They kidnapped Miss Frona and Akina and left for South Corner about an hour ago. Well, I know Akina. But who's Miss Frona? The sister of Mike Williams. She told me that she had paid $2,000 to a man just to go out and bring you in. She thought you killed her brother because he knew where to find the Topeka gold and a thousand dollars extra to bring you back. And who is this man? Do you know him? Jack Harper. Jack Harper. So that's it. I heard of him. And if the Tornado Kids gang is after gold, Akina and Miss Frona are in for trouble. They're all as mean as quills on a porcupine. Betty, take Jimmy and keep him for me, will you? Sure. Where are you going? Uh, there's something that I have to do. Hello, Harper. Been looking for you, my friend. We've something to settle. Wrong. We're finished. It's not personal. It's just a living. Yeah, I know. Three thousand dollars, isn't it? That's right. You're wrong again, Harper. I think it is personal. You know why I live up in the mountains? Just to get away from your kind.
You know what that is? He's attached to that tree behind her? A stick of dynamite. The same dynamite sometimes used in loads to uncover gold. But you forgot what the gold is, so we're gonna make you remember. We're gonna blow the secret out of your minds. That is, unless one of you decides to tell us. Oh, now talk. I can't tell you. Look, please, I told you, I haven't any idea. You're gonna watch then till you remember what you've forgotten. You know, a head blowing up isn't pretty. Oh. Uh. Finish, Chief. Where is the goal of the Tapukas? Cross mountain. How far is the mountain? Very far. I have ways to get you to talk. You can't. You can't! Die? You gonna talk? I've told you everything. Have it your way. left to shoot at. You got one last chance. She blows this time for sure. Hey, kid! My name's Bill Robin. Bill Robin. Let the women go free. They don't know where the gold is, but I do. Now, you could try to shoot me, but then you'd never find out where it is. Leave your coats hostage. You shot my best friend years ago, Bill Robin. Don't think for one minute I'm going to trust a man like you. I've got a feeling you could be lying. No, I'm not lying, because I killed Mike Williams. And he was the only one who had the map. Now, you just let those girls go. We can do some business about that gold. Think he means it? Let him talk. I also want you to put that rifle down, so everything is going to be real nice and friendly. We have to do something. Let the women go for now. But, kid... We've got to tie. If we don't, Robin won't come any closer. Go set them both free. You girls take my horse and wait for me up there. I won't be long. Oh! <laughs> 
now it's just you and me. Two men. Two cults. Remember Dan. Now you have the same chance. Now, with your left hand, take that pistol out of its holster just as slow as you know how and throw it away. Now, get on your horse and ride out of here. Don't you ever come back to this territory. You're letting me go free? There's been enough killing here today. Now, get going. Make other men look glued to the earth with your draw. You had him cold. Why'd you let him go? You should understand. You're a gambler. Shot of the kid ricocheted off a rock. Akaina. Water. Water. Bring some water. This cruel world. I'm leaving it. Ah, I mess everything up. Pick a better tree next time, stupid. Tom, Tornado Kid is dead. He's dead. Gold! It's all mine. It's my gold. I found it on my land. Gold! I wanted to hang myself, but all of a sudden, stupid me, I should have hung myself years ago. Stop me. We're all so thrilled. Am I going to celebrate with a double whiskey? Come on, all you folks. Get on What can I say? I feel indebted. Thank you. Bye, Miss Williams. 
Best of luck. Well, Betty, I've come to say goodbye. Thanks again, Bill. Jimmy, you take care of yourself, you hear? Yes, Bill. <laughs> you know I'm only kidding. <laughs> <laughs> well, what do you say now? <laughs> I'll be careful with him. You always were. Okay, boy. Hello, Angel. We have something to settle. Yes, I know, the money. Here's your 2,000. Oh, but why? I'm a gambler. Doesn't matter if you win. It's how you play. Yes, but... Uh, this time, I had a strange hand. See you, Angel. Thank you.